Hey everyone, I'm Jess, aka Safe Locked, and I'm the lead gameplay producer for League of Legends. That means that I direct the in-game experience with the help of our designers, engineers, artists, QA, and all of our teams, so we can make League better for you guys. Uh, today, I want to talk about some of the opportunities we're thinking about for gameplay in 2018. Uh, we have a couple ideas we want to try out early in the year, so I just want to share them with you and get your thoughts. So first things first, over the past few months, we've been able to see a lot of you guys experimenting with Runes Reforged, which has been really fun to watch. Some of you are having fun with super cheese builds, uh, some of you are finding new effective builds daily, and you keep surprising us with some of the stuff you're discovering. The team has been working on updating runes for a really long time, so it's great to finally see it in your hands. Going forward, we want to keep supporting runes and make sure it's still providing you engaging options in the pregame. As you keep getting more comfortable with the system, we'll focus improvements on areas which aren't getting as much use. As an example, right now we're not seeing a lot of players get excited by the Resolve path. It'll probably always be hard for Resolve to stand out since it's fundamentally a tank playstyle. That just doesn't spark as much interest as more aggressive paths like Domination or Sorcery. Uh, so we're thinking about ways to solve this, specifically by adding a better option for Bruisers within the Resolve path based on feedback we've heard from you guys. Inspiration is another path that stands out. We were always expecting it to be a bit of an oddball niche path. Uh, that said, some of the keystones in the inspiration are confusing and difficult to succeed on, so we'll likely be revisiting some of them and making some more attractive options. We're already looking into Unsealed Spellbook. You guys have had a lot of conversations about it, and we have too. There's a lot of hoops you have to jump through to use it effectively, so we'll see what we can do about it. So the second thing I want to talk about is revisiting our patch cadence for gameplay changes. Uh, what we're planning on doing is having a big gameplay patch every four weeks, followed by a smaller patch two weeks later. So the big gameplay patch would have systemic changes like item and room changes, along with some gameplay updates and the usual balance stuff. And the patches after that would be focused on smaller changes and addressing anything weird that pops up, like totally busted champions. We hope this will let us spend more time on your balance changes, which in turn will hopefully lead to higher quality changes that are more digestible for you guys. Uh, we'll revisit this plan if it's not really working out and give you guys a heads up when we do. The third thing I wanted to talk about is position diversity, by which I mean being able to take the same champions into multiple positions successfully. Currently, most champions are pretty tied to one position, and this is something we've dabbled in with the past, but hasn't always turned out great. Now, though, Runes has given us more confidence that we can try out bigger systemic changes in a way that works. So we're going to be working on building a framework for champions that we think can work in multiple positions, and throughout the year, we'll see if we can unlock an additional position or two for more of them. You'll probably see us making two different types of changes. Firstly, we're looking into itemization options to open up some new possibilities and builds. For example, we're looking into a new item that might open up possibilities for team comps without marksmen. The second type of change you'll see is direct champion kit changes designed to open up additional playstyles, similar to the changes we made to Echo to support him in both mid and jungle. In December, we actually shipped a couple of these changes with Zyra and Morgana. Uh, both of them have been mainly limited to support and sometimes mid for a while now, and we wanted to open up the jungle for them as well. Our idea is that we can try them out as test cases for champions that can be healthy in a few roles at the same time. So far, we've been pretty happy with the results, other than Morgana coming in a bit overpowered. We're trying to be really careful with these changes. We don't want to force a champion out of one position into another. We're really trying to open up more options for players to try. These are just the first few things we're going to be focusing on in gameplay early in 2018. We'd also really like to hear about your thoughts on where we think we should focus. We'll continue posting on the Nexus, and if you like these kinds of videos, we'll try and do more of it as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and let us know what you think.